And like the rest of Icon of the Seas, it's truly going to be iconic around food and beverage as well. One of the things that kept coming up as a guest favorite in all of the research that we've done was this dueling pianos experience. There's no holding back on just singing at the top of your lungs and kind of seeing uh, the two singers battle it out. We love that idea of the interactivity of the piano players with the crowd and creating that lounge that really brings late night entertainment to life. For a concept like blues, jazz and blues, we know our guests love jazz. That gives the, the whole neighborhood a different vibe um, to have the, the live music in a space at night and the evening. So the thought process around Luz is, you know, jazz clubs from New York and, and New Orleans. And then how do we put a special Royal Caribbean spin on those? Uh, Ryan Bean is another one I'm actually very excited about. It's a first combining a bar and a coffee shop together and having them run in the same space all day long is something I haven't seen before. It'll be a lot of fun. Ryan Bean it is a definitely a fun concept. In the morning, you can go get your cappuccino, your latte. The night, you can get an espresso martini. You'll see some elevated coffee-style cocktails, maybe even some tea-style cocktails in there um, to really elevate that menu offering. The number of the hull on every ship is unique to that ship. And on Icon of the Seas, that number was 1,400. And so the 1,400 lobby bar is our tribute to all of those hardworking folks who built this amazing and iconic ship. We really feel like that'll be the heartbeat in the meeting space of the ship. Um, so it'll be open, you know, from 10 o'clock in the morning to past midnight. You know, during the day, we're leaning very much into you know, tropical juice-based drinks. And then as we get into evening hours, you'll see a section of the menu that's very much kind of pre-prohibition cocktails that really meet what the guest needs at that time of day is versus just having it a single theme all the time. Bar venues in Central Park, so you have bubbles where you have endless, endless champagne um, by the glass and by the bottle. We'll also have a signature iconic cocktail that will obviously be champagne and, and bubbles focused. I'm super excited about bubbles. Our guests love champagne. The window is just grab and go. They can come up and get a bottle or a glass. Aquadome will have a new bar, the Overlook Bar. That part of the Aquadome has probably 290 degree views off the front of the ship. So you'll basically be able to see everything the captain sees from, from that spot. So I think it'll be a great bar where people just go and relax and kind of get away from the hustle and bustle of the pool deck, but still are able to get sunshine and, you know, enjoy the, the vibe. Icon really strikes a great balance of evolutionary, revolutionary, and familiar. We've really looked at all of our familiar concepts, making sure that we maintain the what we love about them, but enhancing them to the next level. It's part of our traditional thinking that we take something that people really enjoy and then we evolve it and bring it forward into Icon. I'm excited for our guests to have the opportunity to try both the favorites as well as all the new experiences that we're bringing to life on Icon of the Seas. Okay.